Hey, we got uh, Nick Bolton here. So, have a seat there in the hot seat, please, Robert. And uh, you guys know the drill, so get your hands up and uh, we'll get you to ask some questions. So, first one's going to come from uh, Mitchell Forty. Mitch, go ahead. Hey Nick, I'm I'm just curious if you ever had any sort of conversations with with parents or coaches about the possibility of opting out this season, and if not, why not? Uh, personally, I've not had any conversations about opting out. Uh, I feel like I got more more to prove uh, as a team, as a unit, this coming season. And so I've just been taking every day, trying to get a little bit better, uh, trying to help my teammates get better, and hopefully uh, September 26th we kicked off at 100. percent Eric Blum, go ahead. Hey Nick, uh, I'm curious how you view view your role in the team. Is it is it it's kind of being made that you're inherently a leader? Do you feel that way? And if so, how do you try and demonstrate yourself? I feel like I'm a leader for our football team. Uh, I'm not remote, I'm really a vocal guy, more lead by example guy. Uh, just come in early, stay late type of a guy. And so I just do that, trying to uh, demonstrate as best possible uh, each day in practice, off the field, I'm trying to be a, a great man and a great teammate for my uh, teammates. Natalie, go ahead. Kind of on the same thread as Eric there, you know, obviously you stepped into a very big leadership role on this team. How much do you feel like you learned last season? You know, Kale Garrett went down. I'm sure that forced you into a big leadership role on the defense and the whole team. What do you feel like you learned from that scenario? I learned a lot uh, when Kale went down. Uh, just being more intuitive with everything that's going on. Uh, there's a lot of things that goes unseen. A lot of things that Kale did that I really didn't understand that he did uh, to help our football team be better. And so uh, I had to take down on that, on that role. It's just things as little as just encouraging your teammates when uh, they make a bad play. I told them they got a lot more plays out there to make. And so just taking last year as a learning step and adding on to that, I feel like uh, I've become a better leader from that. Parker, go ahead. Hey, Nick. Uh, coming into this year, um, taking from last year, how do you feel your team uh, stacks up right now, at least seeing, seeing some of those younger guys coming in and, uh, and that new talent? Uh, what's, what's the feeling around camp? Uh, the feeling around camp, uh, everybody on, on defense, I'll speak for defense only, but uh, I feel like everybody's uh, taking uh, great strides of learning the scheme, uh, more effort uh, to the ball and those type of deals. we got young guys stepping up, uh, making big plays across the field, and so I'm excited what they got uh, to bring for our football team, as long as we got older guys, uh, juniors and seniors now, also stepping into bigger roles uh, and the minimum more playing time as well. Colin, go ahead. Hey, Nick, hope you're good. Uh, I'm just curious, how important is communication for what you guys do defensively with your scheme? And who would you say are the best communicators on the team on defense? Uh, communication is big with our defense. It's a lot of, uh, of things that can change throughout the uh, course of pre-snap. And so uh, our communicators, uh, nine, uh, Tyree Bolesley and the post safety is very uh, vital for communication-wise and also linebacker-wise. I've just been on the same page, getting the front set up. Uh, me and Devin, uh, along with Aubrey and Chad, uh, rolling in there as well. And so just taking uh, those guys, uh, getting the front set up, making any checks that's needed, um, just being for everybody else to play fast. Mitch, go ahead. Nick, Nick one more for you. I know you, you've got a coach now, a position coach now, who you know has experience playing in the NFL at your position. I'm curious, is there anything that that you you know want to improve or that he's brought to your attention that that you can do better? Uh, every aspect of my game, uh, I go DJ Smith trying to improve. Uh, anything from just taking a first step uh, that's downhill. Uh, as long as also just being uh, more patient and man-to-man coverage down the field. And so everything, Coach DJ started off from square one. Uh, when he first came here, he gave me a couple things I needed to, to improve on. And it's as simple as just trusting other teammates type of deal. And so he's taking my game to, uh, to the next level, and I'm glad he's here. Dan, go ahead. Hey, Nick, how much does, does Kobe Whiteside mean to this defense, to, to this team as a, as a player and as just a teammate? Uh, as a teammate, as a player, he's also a leader on our defense as well. Uh, being in the zero tech and the nose, uh, he's a, he's a, uh, he puts the center back and gets penetration and makes everybody else's job easier. And so Kobe Whiteside is, is another uh, not really vocal, more demonstrative type of guy. And so he brings that to the table uh, day in and day out. I'm excited for what he's going to bring to our team as well. Sweet, you go ahead. Hey, Nick, obviously very high expectations for you this year. You know, preseason All-American, All-SEC, I guess. How do you kind of personally deal with that? Do you, you know, like, does that give you extra motivation? Like, what, what's kind of going on in, that, in your head? It's kind of a, a still the same motivation I had last year. Um, my chip on my shoulder's been up, and I got dropped by my dream school coming out of high school. And so that's what chip on my shoulder. It's the only thing I really need to motivate me day in and day out and just trying to be a better teammate and help our team win football games. Gabe, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Nick, Coach, uh, Coach Walters told us Chad Bailey has been probably the surprise at camp. What's, uh, what have you seen? What's he doing so well? 
uh, uh, from last season, this season, uh, it's been night and day and schematically uh, just getting uh, lined up, uh, playing faster, doing his job, uh, getting TFLs across the field, PBUs. And so him, him learning the scheme uh, better uh, from last year to this year and allowing him to play faster, uh, help guys on the field as well. And so he's bringing another dynamic to our defense. I feel like going to help us during the season as well. Eric, go ahead. Hey, Nick, you mentioned Tyree earlier. How much of a luxury is it to have a duo like Tyree and Josh Bledsoe on your defense? I believe they could be the best safety tandem in, in the uh, SEC and all college football as well. Uh, you got two very athletic guys, very smart guys, uh, you know what I'm saying, stocky safeties. And so uh, them being able to uh, play and help us, uh, got more experience from last year, this year, uh, with a different type of scheme. And then also adding on from last year, this year, I feel like they're going to have two big years that are essential for us being great on defense. Andy Campbell, we'll close it with you for both. Hi, Nick. Um, I know Chad and some other guys are fighting for that other linebacker spot. When you're out on the field, what are some techniques or like techniques or like traits you look at in that other linebacker position? I'd just say uh, being confident. Uh, that's the number one deal, being a linebacker. you got to be confident. You get the front set up, confident that you know what you're doing. So when you see the ball hit a gap, you can play fast, play uh, without thinking. And so that's just really the main thing. Just a guy who plays confident and believes in himself as long as other teammates around him. Uh, to do their job and do his job to the best of his ability. All right, that's it for both, guys. Thanks. Thank you all.